What is up everybody, I'm your legendary commander and welcome back to Fade to Silence. Last we left off, we had just survived a blizzard and now we're back out kind of exploring. It gave us right after we collected the wood and then we were supposed to go hide for a blizzard and then it told us to get out in the world and explore. Well, we're gonna get out in the world and explore and, well, this world's about the nicest, or at least not if you're not knowing. Alright, so we're gonna get ourselves some loot, right? Yeah, it's actually a very good spot for loot. Uh, I say loot, I'm referring to wood. <laughs> Who thought wood would ever really be loot? Ooh, look at that. Firewood, I'll, basically everything I needed. I, had I just come here, I would've been fine. Wait, where, Are there any where'd you come here? from? Maybe Aren't you supposed to be back here. at home? Now the blizzard's gone. It's dead. Oh. Your oh shit. Alright, come on out. Come on out. I don't want to fight you in here. Keep good hits in and back off. Right, yep. Follow me. Follow me. Yeah, can't take this, can you, bitch? Oh, shit, what was that? Imagine the worst thing that could happen. Would it be death or life? But in dying, you live, and in living, you die. I want to argue he was very long-winded there, and if you actually look and freeze frame it, it looks like I got hit by an SUV. And thus, the first death of the game, a bull goes out. A new cycle begins. <gasps> Alright, well, it's time to get back out there, and thankfully, the game doesn't take your resources when you die, so, you really don't have to go back to where you were, however, there was other stuff there, so we're gonna head on back. It's kinda funny, the environment has changed so much, it doesn't look the same anymore, even though it is. Because the first time I exited that thing, everything was on fire, now it's not so much on fire. Just trying to figure out where we're at. Make sure we get back to where we were trying to go because I want to get whatever was in that room because obviously it was protected. Well, what I don't really know is, well, it's not that protected. I pretty much got everything I needed to get. But let's go on, go on and get out there and get back there. All right, so we made it back. Do you see that thing? Yeah, that big thing up in the sky there. That is what killed me. And how did it kill me? Well, it floats overhead and it gets right over top of you and then it starts dropping cars and stuff so it rains cars or junk onto you and that's how it kills you just another way for this game to kill you so if it's ever over top of you you better hide and here we go let's come on let's bring it on it's a shame he didn't have his uh, health a little lower but we can still handle this guy just hope that thing doesn't come back over us Come on, buddy. You know you want this. I need a better weapon. Just fighting with this uh, torch just... It's not a good way to fight. A lot of stamina wasted on this. Oh, look. There's an exit right there. I out of stamina. Back into the corner. I do not like being back in the corners. Oh. And I'm just... Uh, Go. Oh, he's dead. 
dead, and he dropped an Elder's Essence, but for some reason I can't pick it up. I don't know why. I don't remember filling my inventory that full, but apparently my inventory is full. Apparently I can pick up more pristine wood, though, and other things, so inventory obviously isn't exactly full, but just an item cap? Alright, so I already have my suspicions, so I'm looking around up in the sky, and look what I find. He's over top of me. That thing is going to be annoying throughout the game, I'm assuming, because, well, I haven't played much through, but I can imagine I won't always have shelter. Let's just hope the shelter holds up. Still can't pick it up. Alright, is it gone? Alright, yeah, it looks like he's moving off, but my biggest question is does he come to aggro areas or does he just float a path? I don't know yet. We'll have to find out. In the meantime, let's make our way onto something a little more entertaining. All right, we're back, and so far we've been pretty much alone in the world. All we have is our daughter, and that's really about it. Well, apparently something's going on here. There's a fire or something. So we're going up top to check out what's going on. something kind of odd in the game these little portals that exist or whatever they are uh, unfortunately they pack items but like elder sessions I don't even know what it does I guess they're inventory caches that are laid throughout the world and he's not real unfortunately but I'm not really sure I hope I didn't waste that so we're gonna head on in here and as he stated this is a beacon for bad guys so we're probably about to get into a fight Oh look, a person. Please put out that fire. You don't know what's out there. Uh, Soon. To be honest, it's I'm pretty sure he done. does know what's out here. If he's been alive uh, this long, he should know exactly sorry, what's, what's out there. Jin. Jin, you're taking a huge risk. Don't you know fire attracts evil? I know the risks. But I also know my duties. What duties? Dying in vain for playing with fire? It's hardly the first fire I've sparked. And there we go. Oh, See? Coming. Put that fire out now. When we tell you to do something, you do it. Come on. I'm trying. Trial by fire, stand your ground. Alright. That don't sound good. I wonder how many enemies they're gonna throw at me. Hope this is an easy one. Okay, there's one. Go get him. Honestly, it's a very long, tedious process killing these guys, and that's my biggest fear. Let's <laughs> stamp that out. That's a big ass fire to be stamping out. But you can see, it takes a lot to kill one of these guys. And maybe I just don't understand the techniques, but every time they block, they kind of cause problems. So I got to be quick about killing them, but it's hard to kill somebody. And uh-oh, there's another one already. All right. I don't know if I'm supposed to already have one dead, but... It's too strong. Scatter it. Spread it out. I am. I am. Oh, well, he's lucky he can't get hurt. Hey, buddy, why don't you help a little? We can just throw them into the fire. All right, one dead. Come on. 
Stamina or a better weapon. Alright, dude, it's out. Come on, help me out here. I could really use some help here. Every time they do their special attack, hitting them with that right click really seems to push them back and actually work. Like, it's the most effective way to kill them, I found. And they always block that light quick attack. Come on. Uh, oh, fuck. God damn it, he got, got me good there. Come on. Dude, really, a little help would be nice. I'm about dead. I'm trying to save your ass. Oh, shit. I'm caught. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Holy shit, I'm still alive? How? Come on. Come on. Back up. I was hoping that would get both of them. And that's it. Yeah. So, that's the kind of stuff you're looking forward to later on in the game. I really hope they give me a better weapon soon. I triumphed. And now we're already down to one life. Isn't it great having limited lives? It's a good thing I'm not very far in the game. Anything I do right now, not a big deal if I lose these lives, because I can always restart. So we died, and we failed the objective because of it. Now, does that mean he's dead? I'm not quite sure. We'll find out probably in the next video. However, if you are wanting to quit at this point, maybe you shot your pantaloons or something like that, and you just need to go ahead, take a break from the game. All you have to do is that to the game. The game saves and you'll wake up back there again when you spawn back in. So don't worry about losing your progress as the game auto saves. It keeps track of all that for you. But that is gonna be it for this one guys. You all take care. And I'll catch you next time.